Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. And y'all, I know y'all probably saying, here you is making another video. That's because I haven't been out, you guys, to create a car vlog. I just been relaxing mainly. But I want y'all to know car vlogs is on its way because I have a busy next week. So you can look forward to some car vlogs. Just saying, okay? And so I just thought I'd come in and just show y'all some of my favorite mascaras and i have one dud just tell you about a few mascaras um i have two four five i have five mascaras and i'm gonna start with the most favorite mascara of mine and then uh to one that i just i don't even know why i got it but I was just looking at the package, read what it stated. You know how most of us, we look at the new new mascaras or we see a mascara and we look at it. It says voluminous and full lashes. You automatically grab them. And sometimes they do really get, they do really work and be exactly what they say or give some volume. But then sometimes we get these mascaras and they do not work. So I have to say my favorite mascara in the drugstores for so far, okay, that's a drugstore. Okay, y'all, let me say that again. My favorite drugstore uh, mascara, okay, is the Maybelline Lash Sensational mascara the full fan effect is my favorite i started out with this one this one here is not the waterproof one this is the regular one i love this because and i have well first let me show you the other one because this one i've been it's probably old, but this one is my current one. This is waterproof. The one in pink is waterproof, and this one is none waterproof. And they do the same thing, except this one also has hydro. It says hydro. What is it called? Hydro fuse or something like that. Hydro fuse. It, it means it makes your lashes look really dark, and it does. It coats your lashes with, it just looks so beautiful and deep and beautiful. It's just the best mascara, you guys. Both of them are good. The non-waterproof is good if you don't want to, like, do all the extra um, makeup removing, you know, that you have to do to remove waterproof mascara. This one's just as good because they're, they both have the same wand, the brush and the wand. It has all these little spikes, as y'all see, which grabs your lashes. Then it has this curve, as you see, and the way you put it on the, or the way I put it on, and this is the way I think you put it on, you Start on this end, the curve end of it right here, and then you just curl it like this. You put it on like you're curling, and it does give somewhat of a curl, y'all. It does for me. Uh, my lashes does have a natural curl to it because I have curly hair, but it does curl the lashes somewhat. So you just start on this end right here, this curve end on the bottom, and then you just go like this with every part of the lash and you just continue to coat your lashes like this and you go all the way like that all the way up and y'all this is the best mascara that i have used in a long time i feel like i get that false lash look when i use this not nothing real bold not those big thick lash look but you know how you can put on some lashes that look natural and it gives you a little bit of volume this does give me some volume and it does separate my lashes a little bit but more volume and that's why i like this mascara another reason why i like this mascara is because it it is extremely like deep dark i love my lashes to look really black i don't like like the soft black shade or the brown uh mascaras because they look a little bit too natural i like my lashes to look really bold um as far as the color of my lashes and all that because i like that false lash look so that's gonna help give you that false lash look i love this mascara once again this is the 
uh, non waterproof. That means it's not waterproof. And this one is the waterproof. So if you see these in the store and you go, oh, both of them the same, but they're different. Well, just read it and you'll see this is the waterproof kind. And also it has that um, hydro, hydrofuge, fuge. Hydrofuge, I believe that is what coats your lashes very well and make them intense. And then this right here is just your regular one with no water. It's not waterproof and it doesn't coat the lashes as well as the waterproof one, this one. So love these mascaras. They are my favorite. Just thought I would tell you about it and let you see the shape of it. Now, it can be a little difficult with this mascara when you first get it because the way you put it on, you put it on as if you're curling your lashes like I showed y'all and you can not easily drop it. However, I didn't drop mine, but I almost did when I first got my mascara and then I start holding on to it really tight and and just doing that curling motion and I just love that mascara um, I, I would have to say the next one that I use a lot just for separation that I really like just to separate my lashes or my natural mascara you know how a lot of us have natural mascaras like mascaras we would put on for natural looks okay when we're going for a natural makeup day um this would be the mascara would be the maybelline colossal um marvel mascara it looks like this this mascara right here um you would think it would give you volume by the way the one looks like it's really or the brush it looks really like sort of thick like but do you see those little little brush like do you see the little brushes in there like how they're shaped in there like that that separates your lashes and it helps you not to and it and the, the br bristles that's what i meant to say the bristles you guys the bristles the bristles separate your lashes somewhat like combing them that's one thing i like about this brush is that it kind of combs your lashes and when it combs your lashes, it actually separates the lashes. So I really like this brush for separation because that's what it does for my lashes. I don't get no volume. I just get separation. And that's a really nice look for every day. But this is what the brush looks like. And so you can see like how you got that space in between ev every bristle of the brush. So you know it's going to do some separation, like separating the lashes. So really like this mascara for separating, okay, the lashes. All right, this is the newest one that I got in June. I seen a video where someone was talking about how wonderful this mascara is. And I said, you know what? I think I'm going to try this. I do feel like that mascara, because she like put it on and her lashes look amazing. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try this mascara out. It's a CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean. This one here. I really like this one. Um... It does give some volume, um, but I like the way my lashes look at the tip of my lashes, like when after I apply this mascara. Do you know what I mean? Like when you put the brush, you you when you add the brush onto the lashes and you go through your lashes, and you know the the tip parts of your lashes i like how my tip of my lashes look with this it does provide some volume and i do like the brush this has a flat like top right here and then the bristles are very like pressed in there you know what i'm saying so i think that's why you get this wonderful effect on the tip end of the lashes because sometimes y'all if the tip of the lashes doesn't look good like if, it, if they look too clumpy or if they don't look like they haven't been coated enough then you will look like you don't have many lashes or your lashes look thin i think it's important that you get a mascara that does show or coat the tip of your lashes as well as the base of the lashes it's good that a mascara do both 
things, in my opinion. And this one, what I noticed that this one right here really does work for the tip of my lashes. Like, I'm going to show you. I used this today with the mixture of the um, Maybelline Lash Sensational uh, Mascara. And see how the tip of the lashes... Now, I've done a video, so I sweated a little bit. But if you look... You can see the tip of my lashes, and I like that because that, look at all the mascara, or I shouldn't say mascara, all the liner and the eyeshadow I got on. Sometimes you don't do not see people's lashes. Like, I sometimes I don't see my lashes, and I know what it is. The lash, the mascara just didn't, like, coat the tips of my lashes good enough. So, this one does, and I absolutely love it, and it's it's good alone. You don't even have to mix it up with another mascara. It looks good. It looks good on its own, you guys. So, yeah, if you're looking for a good somewhat of a volume, it's, it doesn't give me a lot of volume. That's just my personal opinion. It doesn't give me a lot of volume. But I love how the tip of my lashes look and the base. I think it does a good job on coating your base of your lashes and coating the tip of the lashes. As far as volume in between, you know, like the volume part where it, where it should get thick, which is the center part, uh, a little volume, but it's still a good mascara because it coats the base and it coats the tip of the lashes. So this is really good. Once again, it's the CoverGirl Lash, Lash Blast Clean Mascara. Yeah. Now, this one right here, I do not like, okay? I used to buy the Rimmel Scandal Eyes um, Eyeliner, the mascaras, everything. I like Rimmel. I do. I like Rimmel Cosmetics. But this one right here kind of caught my eye because it's really bold in color. It's like orange and it's very, you know, when you look at it, it looks very cute. And I think this has been sold. Like, this is not a new mascara. I think I bought this before at some point. Maybe they have changed the formula. But it's the Volume Flash uh, Scandal Eyes Mascara. This is supposed to give you, like, major volume. Like, major volume. And this is my problem with it. I don't get that volume. Maybe because my lashes is too short. I don't know. Uh, but I don't get that volume. You have this thick brush. And when I seen the brush, I was like, yes, that should thicken up my, uh, make my lashes look really thick. But honestly, this makes my, this, this, this mascara causes my lashes to look thinner. And then... I create a mess because the brush is just so big. Like, look at the brush. Like, the brush is really thick. And it's okay. I'm okay with the brush size. It's just when I go through my, my lashes, I don't get a lot of volume. And a lot of times, after putting on my eyeshadows and I put this on, it's one of those mascaras that I... I barely can tell I have mascara on. Looks like I just look completely natural. Like you can barely see my lashes. So I'm just like, what is this? This is not volumizing my lashes. That's just my experience with it. Others may get that volume, but I don't. The brush do look good. It looks fine. It's okay. It's a little thick, a little big because you can make messes, but you can clean up messes on the, you know, if you touch your, you know, whatever you can clean it up but you know it just looks it looks like it would give you volume but it doesn't is what i'm saying so i was disappointed that's like a brand new thing of mascara because i i buy mascaras every month and a half now due to the fact that i had the eye injury so yeah just thought I would mention that to you guys, just in case some of you might be looking for some good mascaras or just wondering how a mascara may be. I want to say this too. I wish Rimmel would bring out a mascara that they had like way back. When I say way back, before I started doing YouTube, that's what I'm talking about. Um, it was a mascara that they had. It was actually a comb. 
It was a mascara comb. Y'all, I bought that mascara over and over and over and over. The only thing about that mascara, it would get dry really quick. So you had to repurchase that mascara constantly. And it had this comb. And when you would go through your lashes, your lashes would get so thick, so volumizing. It was amazing. I can't remember the name of that mascara, but I wish somebody, some company would bring out another brush like that, if not Rimmel, that it was like a little, it looked just like a comb, okay? But it was mascara. I, I heard that Avon sells one like that. That's what I heard. I might just look on the site and see and, and buy one from Avon. They, I, I was talking to someone about that and they said Avon sells one like that. Um, but anyways, it's like a comb and you just literally comb through your lashes and it's supposed to supply a lot of volume and separation. And that one by Rimmel, it did that. Like my, my lashes would look so voluminous. And it did clump a little bit, but at that time I was learning. I was still in that learning phase of makeup. So I might not have been doing it right, but because I know I would use at least two or three coats because I just love how volumized every coat you it would get your lashes will look thicker and thicker. I would do two or three coats just to get that real thick lash look, like the false lash look without having falsies. At that time, I didn't know how to put falsies on. So I loved mascaras that threw off or at least had that volumizing uh, benefit. So I was just like, wow, you know, I would love for them to bring out a mascara like that again. Um, because I think those mascaras that you literally comb through your lashes do provide more volume from my experience with that mascara from Rimmel. But I just thought I'd mention that. If anybody knows of a makeup company that has a mascara like that, let me know because I've been really, really been trying to find a mascara like that. One person told me Avon sells one like that. Um, because I want to say this, because after my eye injury, um, some of my lashes were actually, uh, they came out due to the injury. So, I do have like sparse areas and areas of lashes is what I'm talking about. My lashes are sparse due to the um, eye injury. So, and I don't want to use any, you probably say, why don't you use some of the, the stuff that's supposed to grow, all that stuff. I don't want to use nothing on my lashes. Okay. I, not nothing like that. No. Um, I'm just trying to be very careful about what I use on my lashes due to the injury. Um, but my, my lashes are sparse. And so that's why I tell y'all that I only put lashes on and I might wear lashes for a week, maybe two weeks, maybe week and a half. And then I stop and I won't use lashes for a month or two because I know that my lashes are already sparse like from the eye injury. So I really like today's look. I wanted to put on a pair of falsies so bad, but I was like, nope, give your lashes a break because what happened to your eye, you don't want your lashes to get any thinner than what they are. So yeah, you guys, if y'all have any recommendation, like mascara recommendations, please just leave me a comment. Let me know what works for y'all as far as volume. Um, separation to me is pretty, but it's more like for natural days. So I prefer, I prefer volumizing mascaras. Anything that's going to volumize my, my lashes is going to be the best. So if y'all have any recommendations of some good volumizing mascaras, maybe I need to try something more high branded. I'm willing to do that. I've been telling y'all that I'm thinking about doing that. Uh, just let me know what works that's really good and volumizing. Um, yeah, so yeah, y'all, that's the video. And just know that there will be some car vlogs coming very soon. I just been staying at home, relaxing, you guys. I created my 
fashion videos. And I just been staying at home relaxing, honestly, and just, you know, praying and just all kinds of things. Just, just here at the house, haven't really done anything. And, but I know that next week will be somewhat of a busy week for me. So look forward to some car vlogs. So yeah, just know car vlogs is still this channel is still all about it's still on car vlogs it's all about my car vlogs and me talking about what's going on it's just i haven't been out for a while and i just want to make these videos let y'all know i ain't forgot about y'all okay i just ain't been nowhere been inside the house <laughs> just relaxing and looking at the news and just watching all kinds of videos on youtube and stuff just just chilling sometimes we have to have those days right sometimes it's good to have those relaxing days where you just relax and go you know what i'm gonna relax i'm gonna chill and i'm just going to you know yeah i need to take take a few days and just you know relax you know relax and get comfortable and yeah y'all know how it is so that's what it's been like but y'all know i'm just letting you know that there will be more car vlogs. Look forward to them. And yeah, you guys, I mean, what else can I say? I miss y'all. I miss being in the car talking. I actually want to go to the store now. I want to take that serum bag. I did a June favorite on my other channel and I need to take a serum bag. I feel like going to the store, but I feel like I'm so overdressed, especially with this bodycon skirt. I don't think it's inappropriate. I just think I'm so overdressed with the bodycon skirt, but with my bodysuit, I'm okay. It's just the bottom here. I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like just creating a car vlog. Like I feel like taking that serum bag, get me something for it. And yeah, I almost feel like just going to the damn store anyway. You know, because I've been inside for so many days. It's like, I'm like, I need to get out. <laughs> I need to get out of here and go to the store and look at, you know, some people or something and get up off the couch and, you know, walk around, do something, you know, <laughs> that's kind of how I feel. But anyways, you guys, and if I do, I will vlog. Okay. But anyways, if I don't, then I will vlog next week. That's for sure. Vlogs are coming, okay? And I thank y'all for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share this video. And I will see y'all in my next video. And all of y'all take care of yourselves and be careful out there. Much love to everyone. And thank you for watching. Much love, y'all. All right. See y'all in my next video.